Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a bullet casing bracelet. I've seen these all over social media, mostly on Pinterest, but I thought they looked really cool. I like the rustic look of them with the, the textured cord and the casings. So for ours, they're probably going to be easier than the ones that you've seen on social media. Some of them that I've seen use big steel cable and they have to bend that with a vise and everything and fit it inside the, the outer sheath of this cord. But we're just going to be using a coat hanger with some nice stiff wire there. You could also substitute that out with some electrical wire, but that is a little bit more flexible, so you're not going to get quite as nice of a result with that. You'll also, of course, need some shell casings. I've got 9mm, but 40 cal would also work. You can probably find those at a local gun range. I'm sure they'd give you just a couple, um, but if you're making this, I'm assuming you probably do your own target practice, so those shouldn't be too hard to come by. And then for tools, we need pliers to bend that wire, a lighter to melt the ends of the cord, and I like to use super glue to glue them into the, the shells, but you could also use hot glue. For the cord itself, we're using 5 16 Paramax. I found that fits nicely inside of a 9mm shell. So with that, let's dive right in. For your first one of these, I would recommend leaving a little bit of extra cord. It uses so little anyway that it's not going to put you out much to leave two extra inches on there. So measured around your own wrist, and then I'm going to overlap by just an inch or two. And you can go ahead and cut that. And before it frays too much, just melt it a little bit around the outside. Don't give it a full melt because we need to get access to the middle, but just to seal those outer edges, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of length there when it all frays. And then we'll take our wire or coat hanger in this case, and we'll want to leave about the same length on the wire. Um, so that's a little short on that end from my test one. Let's see. We'll grab this length over here. Then if you just cut it with the pliers like I did, the end usually ends up pretty sharp. And so on my last one, I actually put a dab of hot glue on the end just to make it slide through our cord a little bit easier. And then because this stuff is so th thickly packed with the, the inner strands, I actually do take one of those out. So hold on to your cord good, um, keeping the rest of the cords in there and pull one out. And now you can kind of follow that down with your wire. I'm going to straighten mine out a little bit here. I should get my hot glue gun warming up. So there's our dab of hot glue on the end. That'll make things easier. And then just hold on to those other inner strands as we put the wire in. Once it's flush with one end, it should be good enough, and we'll just end up cutting off the other end. But that end's looking pretty good and ready to put our shell casing on. I'm just going to melt it a little bit more to keep it narrow enough to fit in. So next we'll grab one of those casings and our glue, whatever kind of glue we're using, with the super glue. I just want to put it around the edges instead of down in the bottom. That way it'll spread and hold against the, the cord itself. Tuck all those strands in there and spin it around a little bit as I push it on. And that'll take a couple minutes to fully harden, but we'll let that harden before moving on to the next step because as we bend the cord, we're going to be putting a lot of stress on that joint. So we want that to be fully set before we move on. All right, I think that's dry now, so we can move on to the other end. And I probably should have handled this before the bullet casing, but our wire ends here, and I think I want my overall length to be more like here. So that length is eight inches, that is about right, um, because this bracelet doesn't go all the way around. There's a gap there, and it's kind of a little bit looser style than like a cobra weave. So to get down there, I think I'm just going to cut it 
right at the end of the wire first. And then we, then we can get in there and cut our, our wire shorter. It'll be a messy way of doing it, but it'll work. Then we'll again clip that down where our wire is now. Make sure your wire is pushed in all the way because the wire isn't necessarily glued to that, that shell casing. Trim those edges to make them all the same length. This will all be hidden underneath some glue, thankfully. And then again, we'll just melt the outside of that a little bit to keep it all in place. Because if they're all frayed, then it's gonna be really hard to shove it into that bullet casing. All right, I think that's sufficiently melted. So now we can go ahead and add our glue to the second casing. Same as before, just make sure you get it around all the edges. And again, we'll just let that dry a bit before we bend it into shape. All right, now that that's dry, I think we can go ahead and bend that into shape. Start on one end here. You want a little bit steeper of a bend on the the ends than you do across the middle because your wrist isn't a full circle, it's more of an oval. I really like how these turned out. They're a nice hefty feeling bracelet with those casings and the wire inside. Um, they weigh a lot more than just a 550 Cobra bracelet does because paracord is pretty light. So this was a, a fun craft, definitely a kind of a different style than I'm used to making. If you want to make it with smaller cord, you can do that too. This is with quarter inch Paramax instead of that 5 16 You can actually see a bit of a difference there. I think this would fit better in a 22 shell. I'm not absolutely positive it would fit in there, um, but a 22 shell is 0.22 of an inch and a quarter inch Paramax is of course 0.25. So I think you could squish it in. Maybe you'd have to take out a couple extra inner strands, but I think that would work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not the typical kind of paracord bracelet, but I really enjoyed making this. As always, we'll put a link in the description to where you can find the supplies. In this case, it's just that Paramax cord. You're on your own for the shell casings and the wire and the glue. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.